I'm like, we're gonna run out of gas. Like, he's like, I really hope we make it. Good morning. Good morning, hair hair. We are taking a prescription for Harry to the human pharmacy. Did you know you could do that? Neither did I. <laughs> Let's do it. We are also dropping off packages. Yeah, so apparently some medications, not all an animal medications are carried at human pharmacies, but it is going to be a much more affordable option for one of his medications. The others we can't get locally, but um, yeah, I thought that was really interesting. I had no idea. So we're gonna go, <laughs> it's gonna be funny to be like, hi, we're here to pick up a prescription for Harry. <laughs> what species? What is his he date of birth? Not a human. <laughs> I don't even know his date of birth. Um, it, it's gonna be his birthday in two weeks, January 13th. 11313. Well, there you go. I wonder what we should do for his birthday. Snugs. Snugs and butter. He loves butter. Peter just ran in to take the prescription, but I thought I'd give just a little update on where we're at with Harry's medical stuff we had to take a second urine sample for further testing because of what the first urine sample indicated they needed further testing so we are waiting to hear back on that that was just a couple days before christmas so i'm sure with christmas and now the new year i'm sure we'll hear back soon but after we hear back about that we will move on to further testing probably for his heart and all of these will help us make a treatment decision about best next steps to care for him holistically heart kidneys mouth all of it so it has been a little overwhelming and the way that we've been working through each each of these like unfolding challenges is I can't play out the whole scenario, the whole like, well, if the test shows this, we'll do X, Y, Z. If the test shows that, that's like too much for me right now. Um, we're just taking it one test at a time and then whatever the results are, we will take that next test at a time or next decisions, next treatment plan, whatever the plan is. And while we're waiting on all those tests, he's still on pain control and antibiotics for his mouth. So I feel good about, um, yeah, we have like two vets working together for decisions and stuff. So we'll just keep taking the next step. And that's, I mean, that's how we have to handle whatever it is in life, whether it's the health of your animal, the health of yourself, um, of a loved one or work decisions, or maybe it's to you seamless are seemingly like small or meaningless things that feel like overwhelming like okay I need to do the grocery shopping and then meal prep or clean the house or this or that things feel really overwhelming but if you take it one thing at a time and conquer one thing it can fuel you to conquer the next thing so if that's where you feel like you're at today let's breathe and conquer one thing one thing. You got this. Um, surprise, surprise. Quick question. How did you know I desperately needed caffeine? <laughs> because, well, it kind of feels like a Monday even though it's it not does. a Monday. It does. Well, I think because we didn't work yesterday. And so... Today we had some business emails and, and things to we take have, care of. like accounting stuff we have to do when we get home. Yeah, end of the year stuff for our business and. Thank you. So, is this a pumpkin spice latte? It is. Mm. It speaks life to us. Speak life, speak life. <laughs> it's been our treat this season. Like, yeah, I feel like more than other seasons, like. We, we really enjoy a little date. Probably because we can't get out and do much else. Yes. We enjoy like <laughs> getting a latte. And we've been purposefully turning things like, well, there's a Starbucks next to Harry's vet. 
Yeah. So when we're waiting to pick up or drop off or something, we'll be like, oh, let's have a latte. Because we can't go in, and so yeah. we're sitting in the car, and we're like, well, let's make a little Starbucks date out of this. How did the drop-off go? It went well, It went good, yep. I, I'm glad we cleared up his date of birth, because I, I had to... Uh, uh, well, she asked, do you have a date of birth for him? Right. And I was like, yeah, one thirteen thirteen. Yes! And so, it'll be late, ready later today, they'll call me. Great. So... And we'll let you use GoodRx coupon? I didn't ask, but I'm sure, I mean, yeah, pretty sure you can. I noticed at one of the pharmacies, they had a big sign, like, don't forget to check for good RX. Nice. And I was like, that's good. So if you guys are having trouble paying for, apparently you or your pet's prescription, don't forget to check good RX. Hashtag not sponsored, but I mean. But they did sponsor us once. Give us a call. Sponsor us again. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Off to the postal. Are you guys getting your, did you conquer something yet? Did a, we conquer something? I was talking to them. Oh, did you tell them to conquer something? I encouraged them to. Okay, all right. Well, I think there's a blue box we, rather than having to drive to the postal. Wait, will the boxes fit in the blue box? I think so. Yeah, it's okay. a big one. You think um, there's a blue box somewhere? Yeah, it's like the next shopping center over. So we'll go drop that. Do we need gas? No, we're good. Um, Peter has vowed. Tell us, tell us about your um, recent decision. <laughs> this should be my New Year's resolution. Yes, <laughs> New Year's resolution. <laughs> to not run out of gas. No, <laughs> to, to fill up before I get to empty. Because let's let's be real. Almost every time we fill up our car. I'm like, we're gonna run out of gas. Like, he's like, I really hope we make it. <laughs> okay, so then I was saying to him, the one time we did run out of gas, you know, right before we moved to Massachusetts, or right before we moved to... North Gra Carolina. Grafton. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yes, <laughs> yes. We actually ran out of gas. Yep. I thought the car was like making like a sound. Like the tank was like, <laughs> he was like, what? I don't so if that. you've ever run out of gas, did your tank made a, make a weird sound as you were like, please make it to the gas station? Just be just to be clear, I know it's better for our car to not run low on gas. But, but then there's that thing called real life. I I will say, like, it's just one of those things in life that I overlook. Yeah. I just I think part of it is that we don't have any regular driving routines. I feel like if you That's have a regular true. driving routine where you like every, even if it's like once a week you drive somewhere and like maybe you fill up at on that route. Yeah. I just, we have no regular schedules of driving anywhere. And so I really like never look at the gauge. And so anyways, yesterday I filled up before we hit that before the empty light came on. And I was like, I'm going to do this more often. You're already accomplishing your New Year's resolution. And, and it's, it's not, not even, even the new, new year. year. Yeah, I'm no. setting my sights high for 2021. Yeah. <laughs> not run out of gas. <laughs> I, I really think though, like you were just saying, it's just one of those things that gets overlooked. And it's like, we know, I feel like we all have these things in life, whether it's like, for me, it would be like something health related. So, okay, something like the order in which I do my inhalers, I cannot remember if it's supposed to be the red one first or the white one first. I can't remember if you're supposed to do the red one first and then Palmazyme and then, I'm like, you know what? My goal is to get it done. And if I've found a way that I am staying stable and healthy and I am not able to remember which order, I'm actually okay with that. And I am aware that there is a specific order but I can't remember it and I'm okay with that. It's kind of like that. Like we know it's best not for the car to run empty, but like we are 1000% not perfect. And so we can't monitor every, every, everything, yeah. you know? Yeah. And it seems so trivial to like fill up your car with gas, but like I, I think that Instagram's algorithm is brilliant because 
they targeted me with an ad for this truck that will come to your house and fill your car up with gas. That's crazy. I know. Is I'm, it super expensive? I'm sure it is. But like, I was <laughs> like, I'm about to hand over my credit card so I can. <laughs> no, I think uh, if, if electric cars were more affordable, I think it would be a good option for me because then you, you charge it every night and Where are we? you don't have to on a regular basis you don't have to stop at a charging yes i hear you i hear you i hear you um i forgot what we were doing and i was really confused but this must be where the blue box is it is wow this is kind of cool oh that's a blue box that's a, that's <laughs> Rusty one. not a blue box <laughs> <laughs> okay Packages. Packages. So if you guys ordered from our store and your package has not arrived, um, there is a tremendous backlog of packages with the postal service. And thank you to all of you with the postal service yes. for working to get those packages delivered. It's my hope that in the next week, a lot of these missing packages will show up, but um we appreciate your patience as yes there's a lot out of our control at this point yeah i was gonna help you get the door oh, but you God. got it okay let's get the money shot uh-oh it's got a very small hole As Peter just sanitized his hands, it reminded me of something I've been wanting to like verbalize for quite a while, like almost a year. I am so thankful that either my lungs are able to handle the smell of hand sanitizer or this hand sanitizer we have doesn't cause my lung pain. It used to be, I mean like pretty much all of my childhood, Anytime a doctor would like come in and use hand sanitizer, I would get a pretty sharp lung pain really quickly. And so I was always a, like after doing PFTs, they would give you hand sanitizer, but I would just go wash my hands at the sink because of that pain and how very difficult it would be. You know, we try to like hand sanitize during a uh, pandemic. I would be constantly like having the feeling of like a knife in my lung and I very rarely feel that from hand sanitizer anymore and I'm really thankful. Next stop is a postal where the hole is big enough <laughs> for the boxes. <laughs> and we'll double time it because now I'm on the farm uh, phone with my pharmacy. So we'll get that done. We're checking things off the list. I didn't even know I had to do this pharmacy call, but checking it off while it's here in front of me. Okay. Oh, wait, Mission, do that again. Accomplished. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. Yes, missions are accomplished and Ollie is taking a little bit of a painting nap apparently. Are you so silly? Are you using my painting stuff as a pillow? That's so silly! <gasps> so guys, we are cheering for you. I'm wagging my tail for you. You got this. And as always, is hair hair down here? We'll see you tomorrow. Don't you think we're Good night. I think Harry's in our bed. Oh, okay. Harry likes to sleep in our bed during the day sometimes. Good night, everybody.